It was a moment to remember for Broncos fans everywhere. The Denver Broncos are world champions. They have just won Super Bowl 50. For Ryan Harris, it was the moment his wildest dream came true. Becoming a Super Bowl champion changed everything for me. But getting to that night was a journey filled with trials and tribulations, one he's sharing in his new book, Mindset for Mastery. Share those kind of back end moments, those moments of doubt and fear that, you know, friends and family didn't see. Um, that really ended up being a catalyst for success. You really highlight for people the difference uh, that you can make by just choosing your mindset, what you want to do, how you see failure. Failure is a feeling Harris became intimately close with when he was cut from the Denver Broncos back in 2011. We got a new coach and they wanted me to do new things and I already had success. I thought I was good, you know, I lived at Highlands Ranch, had a nice car and I was unwilling to do new things, unwilling to work as hard as I needed to work and because of that they fired me and I'd never been more embarrassed in my life. Harris went on to play for the Houston Texans and never looked back. He learned to do things like celebrate his wins, big or small, and how to make the best use of his time and gave 100% every day on the job, even when it landed him in the hospital. Harris had nine surgeries in his 10 year NFL career. There were times when I had to crawl up my stairs because I wasn't able to walk and thinking, how am I gonna ever get back to the field? For Harris, he had no choice but to persevere, and he did. Ultimately, the coach that gave him a second chance after he was fired from the Broncos back in 2011 is the same coach who led the Broncos to becoming Super Bowl 50 champs. Gary Kubiak gave me a call again in 2015 and said, hey, Ryan, I need you. I need you to come help us win a championship, and I need you to show these young cats how to work. Chapter by chapter, Harris gives you a glimpse into some of his most vulnerable moments, but more importantly, how we got through them. Talking about failure and how to overcome it, is something I think is important and uh, we don't do enough of. Harris hopes in this next chapter of his life, he is a champion in inspiring others to reach their dreams. You've got to persevere. You've got to, and you choose your mindset every single day.